If these are not enough, we need just more. That's that's all there, there is to it. If you first don't succeed, try again with more rockets. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play a Scrap Mechanic. My name is Weasel, and today we're going to build, well, a rocket car. At least that is the plan for this episode. Some of you might already know Scrap Mechanic. It is a, well, creation sandbox game. That is pretty much the only description I can come up with. And it gives you a ton of tools that allow you to build pretty much any creation you can think of. And I know how much you like those. All right, so the first things we need are our lift. Lift's gonna be placed here, and we can lift it up a little bit and down. That will separate our creation from the ground. And we're gonna have to, we'll, wait, which one of those is metal? Which one, okay, I think that's metal. Yeah, we need a base that our car is gonna be on. Definitely a bigger one. Uh, it has to be longer than this, I think. All right, that's pretty big, I'm gonna say. Next, we're going to need driver's seat. Oh, yes, right in the middle, very good. I said we're gonna build a rocket powered car, but we're gonna start off with a, well, gas engine, and then add on power as soon as we have the basic concept standing, uh, as soon as that is working. I think we should have at least mm, three wheels on each side. Let's, let, let's start with the regular amount. I actually think I'm gonna need some suspensions, otherwise we're gonna have not a fun time. Ah, I just realized that I need to put the bearings under the suspension. I do really like this lift approach, it's kind of cool. You really feel like a mechanic running around and building something and next we're gonna need the wheels fairly straightforward yeah, this, is, this is starting to look like something at least all right it's time to wire some things up okay the steering needs to go to these bearings oh right these bearings i guess we could add them to these as well this looks like spaghetti now Jeez. Okay, wonderful, look at that. Now the question is, will it drive? I should probably give it a little bit more power. All right, spin in this direction, this direction, very good. Yeah, it's, it's gonna help when they're all gonna spin into the right direction. Yes, four wheel drive. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The wheels should probably also point into the right direction. That, that, that will make it a little bit easier. All right, so now that we have the basic concept, gonna have to make it faster. Oh jeez, okay, so this... <laughs> okay, so this is the maximum speed? <laughs> wow! This is already pretty damn fast. It's more stable than I thought it would be. Oh, so much for that. <laughs> Alright, we do have already a pretty damn fast car, which does not stop me from putting more engines on it. Look at that thruster, and all of these can make things fly. It needs to be connected to a trigger. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> Holy moly. I, <laughs> I think this is not gonna be, ah, uh, whatever. It's, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, no problem. All right, very good. Oh, I <laughs> I'm a little bit intimidated. It's, go ah, it's gonna be good. Don't worry about it, Weasel. D don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right, everything's connected. Let's have a seat. <sighs> Geronimo! Ooh, jeez. Well, that went well. All right, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But the flipping over is a problem. Maybe it'll be a little bit more stable with all of this stuff on it. All right, here goes nothing. Yay! Well, I mean, it it, it, it it did a thing. The falling over is, that that is bad though. That is something we're gonna work on. All right, gotta get on the roof. Uh, here's the plan. Yeah, well, if we have wheels at the top and the bottom, tipping over is not a problem anymore. Oh, this is a uh, little confusing, to say the least. Oh, we're gonna need a second engine for all these bearings. Oh, why, why, why is it on? I'm not driving, ah, <laughs> shit. Okay, wait. Wait, easy there, easy there. Ooh, okay, okay, jeez. Yeah, don't play around with the engine unless it's like on a lift. Or it'll just drive away. Car, car, there you go. What is happening to my poor mechanic? He's like all stretchy. Yes. <laughs> We're doing okay here. It's a little bit hard to control, but other than that... Drives like an A. Oh. Oh. Right, the sides. God damn you. Ooh, 
big wheels. Oh, they're way bigger. That's that's way better. Now we're cooking. Well, I got some big rims now, but that doesn't really solve my problem of toppling over. Hmm. How about we use a sensor to see if we toppled over and then thrusters to bring us in upright position. That sounds like it's totally gonna work. No, they're not strong enough. Ah, damn it. It is working, but not as I was hoping. Well, clearly, if these are not enough, we need just more. That's that's all there is to it. If you first don't succeed, try again with more rockets. It's all wisdom. All right, next attempt. Well, it is doing a thing. <laughs> what is happening to my poor engineer? Oh my god. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I can see how this engine, how this thing might be conceptually flawed. Oh, geez, that's gonna be fun to wire up. <laughs> flawless. Flawless. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm unstoppable. <laughs> ah, when in doubt, more wheels. Okay, these, these guys are, are, are turned around the wrong way. All right, let's try this again. It drives great, you know, considering that I built it. <laughs> Fantastic. Now I feel we need a little bit more power. More speed. I don't think it's gonna fly anytime soon. Ow. Ah, that worked great. For a second I was worried that I wouldn't need tires in the front. <laughs> ah, much better, yes. As my grandfather used to say, if it doesn't look like it will kill you, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> oh, jeez, this is confusing. Ah. Uh, well, it works great, though. I think this was a huge success. I just wish this was a little bit faster. It is hard to control, I give it that. It still looks like Christmas when everything is connected. I'm still amazed that this just works. Man, I look so angry. Why are you so angry, little mechanic? I'm so angry. I think this design. I mean, I should, I should, I should contact the big companies with this. There, there's some potential for off-roading. I mean, a tire change looks really tiring. Other than that, this is your ideal companion for exploring a world. Well, now that I conquered the ground, I think it's time to set out for the sky. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, this episode of Scrap Mechanic. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like so I know you guys want to see more. I would really love to know what you guys think I should build on this game. Uh, so leave your comments with your ideas in the comments below. The more creative, the better. In any case, thanks for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm out. Come on. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.